Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, titanium 4 oxide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we can write the formula from there. I see that I have titanium first, and I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where titanium is. Titanium is right over here. Titanium is a Ti. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. I'm going to say, okay, I got titanium, that's a Ti. But now, what charge am I going to use in the upper right-hand corner? Titanium is in this group. Those are transition metals. And remember, transition metals, they have many different charges. So what charge am I going to use? Oh, that's why they gave me this Roman numeral. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. In this case, it's going to be the charge of titanium. This is a four Roman numeral, so I know that titanium is going to be a plus four. And I know it's a positive and not a negative because metals always lose electrons, meaning it's positive. Now I go to oxide. I see that it's an IDE ending, so chances are it's going to be a nonmetal on the periodic table. I look for this ox beginning, and I find it. It's right over here. It's oxygen. Oxygen is represented as an O, right? And it's in this group, and it's going to be a negative 2 charge. That's the common trend for the charge of that group. I'm going to write that oxygen is a negative 2. Now, since I have both elements and I have both charges, I do this little trick where I take the charges and I crisscross down to just see how many of each element I need. So this plus four crisscrosses down, telling me that I need four oxygens. Let me write that better. Perfect. And then this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two titaniums. When you do this trick, you don't have to worry about the positives or the negatives, and you could kind of scribble these out. You just kind of write down this because we're going to use it as subscripts. But now here's the thing, guys. Ionic compounds need to always be in their most simplified form, a.k.a. you have to simplify your coefficients by division. So you say, okay, 2 and 4, is that the most simplified I can get? Nah. I can divide both numbers by 2 to get a lower ratio or a lower number for both of them. Now I have a 1 and I have a 2. These are the numbers that I'm going to use for my formula. So now let's get to it. I got titanium, Ti. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write the 1 here. The oxygen comes next. I have two of them, so I have to write the 2. And now I am done. So this one was a little tricky, but nothing we can't handle, right? Titanium 4 oxide is TiO2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously, and I thank you so much for that. Let's keep working hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will talk to you all in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.